Welcome to Zen Sage Mind. Today we're stepping into a territory that can be a bit of a minefield, a topic that sparks curiosity and, let's be honest, maybe even a little bit of judgment. We're talking about the signs that a woman might have had a lot of, shall we say, experience in the relationship department. Now before we go any further, I want to be crystal clear. This isn't about labeling anyone or making anyone feel bad. We're all adults here, and what someone chooses to do with their life, their body, their relationships, that's their business. But sometimes, especially when you're trying to figure out if someone's a good fit for you, you start looking for clues. And that's what we're going to talk about today, understanding some of the signs, the behaviors, that might indicate a woman has had a lot of partners in the past. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding these signs can help you navigate the complexities of relationships with a little more insight. So, let's dive in. Let's talk about casual relationships for a minute. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with choosing to keep things light and easy, no strings attached. But here's the thing. Some folks, they're just wired that way. They like to keep their options open, they're not looking to settle down, and they're perfectly comfortable with that. And you know what? More power to them. But if you're someone who's looking for a deeper connection, someone who's ready to build something real and lasting, then you need to pay attention to how comfortable a woman is with the whole casual thing. Does she toss around phrases like friends with benefits or keeping it casual like it's nothing? Does she seem almost dismissive of the idea of commitment, like it's some kind of burden? If she treats serious relationships like a foreign language, that might be a sign that she's more accustomed to short-term flings. Now, this isn't a foolproof system, of course. Maybe she's just been burned in the past and she's protecting herself, but it's definitely something to pay attention to. Relationships are built on trust, and trust can be a fragile thing. If you get the feeling that she's not looking for the same kind of connection that you are, you need to be honest with yourself about whether this is a relationship you want to invest your time and energy in. Because let me tell you, chasing after someone who's not on the same page as you, that's a recipe for heartache. Let's talk about emotional baggage for a minute. We all carry it, every single one of us. Our past experiences, our heartbreaks, our disappointments, they shape who we are and how we interact with the world. And sometimes, those experiences can make it hard to open up, to be vulnerable, to let someone in. Now, when a woman has had a lot of partners, it can create a kind of emotional callus. Think about it. If you've been hurt enough times, you start to build walls around your heart. You start to see every new relationship as temporary, a fling, a way to avoid getting hurt again. So, how does this play out in real life? You might notice that she's reluctant to share her feelings, to talk about the past, to let you see the real her. She might be great at keeping things light and fun, but the minute you try to go a little deeper, she shuts down. Now, let me be clear. Emotional detachment isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes, it's a sign of strength, a way of protecting yourself from getting hurt. But it can also be a sign that she's not ready for a real relationship, that she's still carrying too much baggage from the past. And if that's the case, you need to ask yourself if you're willing to be patient, to be understanding, to give her the time and space she needs to heal. Because if you're looking for a woman who's ready to dive headfirst into a deep, emotional connection, you might be barking up the wrong tree. Look, we're all adults here, and what happens in the bedroom is between two consenting adults. But let's be honest, sometimes you get the feeling that you're not the first rodeo, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm not saying that experience is a bad thing. In fact, some people find it incredibly attractive. But there's a difference between someone who's comfortable with their sexuality and someone who's had so many partners that intimacy has lost its meaning. It's like anything else in life. The more you do something, the more familiar it becomes. So what are some signs that a woman might be very, shall we say, experienced? Well, she might be very comfortable taking charge in the bedroom, suggesting new things, experimenting. She might have a certain confidence, a way of moving that suggests she's done this before. And listen, there's nothing wrong with a woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to ask for it. But if you get the feeling that she's just going through the motions, that there's no real passion or connection there, that's a red flag. 
Intimacy is about more than just physical pleasure. It's about connection, vulnerability, sharing something special with another person. And if she's not capable of that, then no amount of experience is going to make up for it. So pay attention to the little things, her body language, her words, her eyes. They'll tell you everything you need to know. We've all heard the saying, you are who you surround yourself with, right? Well, let me tell you, there's a whole lot of truth to that. The people we spend our time with, they influence us. They shape our beliefs, our values, our behaviors. So if you're trying to figure out if a woman has had a lot of partners, take a good look at her social circle. Who are her friends? What are their values when it comes to relationships? Are they constantly hopping from one fling to the next? Do they brag about their conquests? Do they seem to view commitment as a dirty word? Now, I'm not saying that she's going to be exactly like her friends, but if she's surrounded by people who are constantly engaging in casual relationships, it's going to rub off on her. It creates a certain environment, a certain set of expectations. And let's be honest, it's hard to swim against the tide. If all of her friends are hooking up with different people every weekend, she's going to feel pressure to do the same. It's just human nature. So, if you're looking for a woman who's ready to settle down, you might want to steer clear of someone who's deeply entrenched in the hookup culture. It's not impossible for someone to change their ways, but it's a lot harder when they're surrounded by people who are enabling their behavior. Remember, you're not just choosing her, you're choosing her friends too. Make sure it's a group you can see yourself being a part of. They say that actions speak louder than words, and that's true. But sometimes, it's the little things we say, the offhand comments, the jokes, the stories, that reveal more than we intend. So if you're wondering if a woman has a history of numerous partners, pay attention to her conversations. Does she make a lot of jokes about exes, about past flings, about her body count? Does she seem to downplay the importance of relationships, treating them like a casual pastime? Now, some people are just naturally more open about their past than others. But if you're getting the feeling that she's constantly referencing past relationships, it could be a sign that she's not quite over them. Or it could be a sign that she views relationships as a numbers game, something to be tallied up and bragged about. Another thing to pay attention to is how she talks about other couples. Does she seem cynical about love? Does she make fun of people who are trying to make their relationships work? Now, it's one thing to have a healthy dose of skepticism, but if she's constantly putting down the idea of love and commitment, it's a red flag. It suggests that she might not be in the right headspace for a serious relationship. Remember, words have power. They can reveal our deepest fears, our insecurities, our hopes, and our dreams. So listen closely to what she says and pay attention to how it makes you feel. Your gut instinct is telling you something, so don't ignore it. Look, we've covered a lot of ground today, and I want to be clear about something. These are just potential signs, red flags if you will. They're not foolproof indicators, and it's important to remember that everyone's different. Just because a woman has had a lot of partners in the past doesn't mean she's incapable of having a healthy, loving, committed relationship in the future. People change, they grow, they learn from their mistakes. The key is to approach these situations with an open mind and an open heart. Don't jump to conclusions and don't judge someone based on their past. Instead, focus on building a connection based on mutual respect, shared values, and genuine affection. Because at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more relationship advice from Zen Sage Mind.